Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jess. And as you can tell by the title, we're doing my January reflection, February reset video. So if you're interested in this video, then keep on watching. Ooh. 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 All right, y'all. So it's like 6.45 in the morning and I'm filming this before work. But your girl gotta do what she gotta do. But today's video is all about my... January reflection and February reset. So I have my notebook here and I'm gonna put pictures of exactly what I'm talking about if I feel comfortable on the screen so you guys can see personally because you can't really see me holding it up like this. But I'm gonna also link my notebook in the description box. I got this from Target. It was in a couple videos ago in December. So if you're interested, they should still have it, but you know Target. If you don't know Target, Target be selling out. So I'm going to link the video where I initially did all of this, but we all know I started off this folder with my goals. Um, and then I am doing quarters instead of monthly. So this is my quarter one goals. And then I moved right into January. So this is my January budget. I'm going to be quite honest. Your girl was not, not paying attention. Your girl paid her bills, but your girl was not paying attention to her budget. So I'm gonna be quite honest, it's not 100% accurate and nor is it completely filled out because I was not paying attention. Um, so yeah, there are some changes in my budget as well. So I did renew my lease, so it the new rent took into effect in January, January. So the it was prorated in January and the new rent will go into effect February. So going for my budgeted rent amount has gone up by like $20. So instead of $8.30, it'll be now $8.50. Um, my cell phone did go up because I got a iPad and the service on this thing went up. So my, why is it like that? So my bill went up from $126 to like $1 something i don't know the new total but it did go up i want to say it went up like 20 dollars as well i don't know yet um that is the only thing that went up that has gone down well has gone down change is my coffee um i had budgeted myself 40 dollars for coffee i am dropping that budget because i started making coffee at home i got a frother y'all from amazon i'm gonna link it in the description box below so y'all go check it out it was like 10 11 or something Y'all, game changer, coffee, coffee is good now. Coffee, I, at home coffee, your girl got it now. With that frother, your girl got it. Because before, it wasn't hidden. But now, it is hidden pretty good. So, I won't be buying us coffee as much because I can make it at home. Um, Savings and debt. Yeah, those all those things were neglected. So, um, what I did was I, um, on the back of my budget, I listed out my savings goals, how, where they started off at the beginning of the month, where they ended at the end of the month. And I'm also listed my debt. Uh, so my savings, my emergency fund, it dipped. It did not increase. It went down. So that's that. Uh, my buffer goal still stayed at zero. My other savings goals still at zero. Um, my car loan, of course, it went down because I made a payment. I didn't make nothing extra like I wanted to, but I did make a payment and it was early. So round of applause, round of applause. Um, my Capital One card, that bitch went up and went back up. So now I got to pay that shit right back down. And my other credit card, it's zero. So, because there was nothing on that card. My goals for this month was to save an X amount of dollars. So, what had happened was, was I did save some money. I did transfer that money over to my savings account. My emergency fund account. I did save it. And then I had to untransfer the money so I can get oil transfer. And I can do some other things that I need to pay for. So money I did save initially got unsaved. So therefore, I didn't hit my goal because I unsaved it. Um, I did read two books. I read 
Let me get the books. Cross read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. 10 out of 10. 10 out of motherfucking 10. Taylor, you did your motherfucking thing with this. I got this from Target, 20% off. But Taylor, you did your motherfucking thing with this. You did your motherfucking thing, okay? 10 out of 10. The ending was shocked, blown away. Did not expect the fucking ending, okay? The next one I did what read is the uh, Gilded Ones. I cannot say her name. This book was really good. I wouldn't, I'm, it's not like a complete 10 out of 10, but it was still good. It was like, it was, it was like an eight. This book is good. Um, this is a series. There's one more book in this series. So I need to go get the other one, but it was still a good book. This though, this though, it's starting off strong with the favorite book of the year. Okay. I'm gonna have to pick up another book by Taylor to see what the girl is talking about because she's doing her thing. Yeah. Um, and I all so my goal is to read two books. I did read two books and I started another book. This is the book I started, um, Sophia Princess Among Beasts, um, uh, by James Patterson. We gonna wait to give the full review on this until after I'm finished, but I already got some thoughts on this, okay? But we gonna wait. Um, the next goal is um, so I wanna learn new skills this year. I wanna learn four new skills. I don't wanna be like like an expert i just want to be have like a beginner knowledge of those and one of them is a uh, new language which is spanish so i have been um i have been practicing spanish um your girl ain't got no money to pay for no lessons so i'm using duolingo on my ipad um for the basics it's pretty good i'm already on unit four which is just where your family um and I, it's pretty good. It's not going to be like, make me like an expert, be out here speaking that Spanish. No, but I have definitely learned some new words that I didn't know before. Um, so it's very interesting. Um, I just want to be able to learn the basics. So, you know, I can pick up a little more things in my surrounding because I do live in Texas. Um, so the next one was complete a diamond painting. So I really like creative hobbies and one of my hobbies that I find really interesting and relaxing is like diamond painting I'll put a picture so you know what that is I wanted to complete a whole one for a whole month very doable but did I do it no I did like one third of one but it's not complete no it's not again another goal is to move my body um I have been moving my body have I been consistent no your girl has an app on her phone that I purchased I purchase this monthly it's like $15 a month but but I really like the app I'll we'll put the app name on the screen here so you can take a look at it I really like the app I think it's worth it the workouts are super super easy and very doable I did one this morning I've been trying to do them in the morning so wake up a little early to start my day off right um but they're like 30 minutes or less like 35 minutes or less super doable um if you're a beginner highly recommend um, and then I also wanted to incorporate yoga. I've been incorporating and been consistent, but I've been incorporated. I also follow that up after my workout in the morning. I will say incorporating yoga, 10 out of 10, because back is not hurting as much, but it still hurts. Um, and you just feel more like your body just feels more open and like not as tense. So I really like it. I just need to be more consistent with those two goals. Um, cooking two new meals. Did I cook two new meals? I cooked one-ish. And then wouldn't even say new, but one-ish. And so we're just going to say I didn't complete that goal. So, yeah. I really haven't been cooked in the month of January. Because I've been spending the fuck money that I don't have on fucking takeout. I shouldn't be eating in the first place. Um, complete four self-care activities. My goal was to do some type of self-care once a week. Um... I did do like two. I did my nails. I got my nails filled and then I got my nails taken off and I got this manicure. But I wouldn't really count those as self-care, more like maintenance. So I'm gonna say I didn't accomplish that goal. And then my last goal was to implement um is to create implement healthy health healthy morning uh, night routine. So if you don't know, I am in grad school. Your girl is fucking tired. Um, and also I thrive on, like, I need, I realize that I need routine and like structures to stay on top of myself. So routines are necessary. I did create some morning and evening routines. 
um and by when i say create they're not like structured they're not they're not what you call it they're not like set in stone they're kind of fluid in fact i'm gonna redo them for february because i've changed some things like um and to me it's not about like making sure i hit them in order it's just make sure i take check those things off in the morning and check those things off at night so i did do that but it is constantly involving to do what works best for me and as i grow as a person um so the only goals that i really hit was read two books start learning a new skill um and the morning and night routines i did three goals out of eight okay um horrible failed fucking f but it's okay it's okay so on my next page is the notes that i made myself that i jotted down over the month of february me of january of things that i've noticed about myself or noticed throughout the month um and these are just tidbits for me they include like the fact that i overspent a lot of money in january like i was spending money like i was fucking sean john or something somebody in this bitch okay um i didn't stay on top of my goals um I thought the iPad was going to change my life and make me stay on top of my goals. And it has in a way, but then it also has it. Um, so I really need to get back to my notebook. Uh, and then I learned a valuable lesson. I already knew this, but sometimes it takes like more than one time to learn a lesson for it to stick. Especially with me because I'm hard-headed and have a problem listening. Um, but I severely lack discipline. I lack fucking discipline. I had a little motivation at the beginning of the year. And once that motivation is gone, if you don't have discipline, you won't continue doing whatever it is you're doing. Um, so, yes. I also realized, and I already knew that. Now, I already knew this. I also really, really knew this, that I'm a procrastinator. But I realized that my procrastination is due to two things. Not just being lazy. Because your girl is lazy as fuck and will not do something. But also because of my mental health. Your girl has depression if you didn't know that. So sometimes um, I may be like, fuck this shit. It's just, it, 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 it's all up here. So those two things. I knew because I was lazy, but I didn't take into account of my depression. So I'm really, really focusing on my mental health because that's more, that's very important to me. Um, so yes. However, we're going to go into my February intentions, which is to push through every day. Um, I have a bad habit of if one bad thing happens or if I don't do something, then I won't do anything. And it's better and like I'm starting to realize it's better to do to not do one thing, but do all the other things versus not do one thing and then do nothing. So really push through and to show up every day for myself um, to put myself First, by saying no. Sometimes I feel like I have a bad habit of saying I'm a people pleaser sometimes. Even though my mouth is big. And a lot of times I'd be like, hell fucking no. But then I sometimes I'd be like, okay. Even if I don't want to do it. So saying no is okay. And to say no, if even if my first instinct is like, I won't do that. No. No, bitch. Don't let them talk. Don't let them talk you into doing something you don't want to do. So the answer is fucking no. Um be mindful of my actions um this really comes into play about spending be mindful of what the fuck i'm swiping my card for okay um and be mindful of my actions that it plays into it be just being mindful of the things that i do and making sure that i'm being very intentional if intentional with my actions and then the last one is being consistent which goes into the first one push through and be consistent with everything this in the month of february so yes, moving into January, my monthly reflection questions, I will put, this is what, I will put a blank copy on the screen, but this is what they look like. The questions are in yellow and it also is on the back. And these questions just help me to reflect on my month. So like uh, my biggest win this month, I said reading two books because your girl like loves reading but sometimes i'll start reading and then i forget to read and then at the end of the month i'm like oh damn i didn't read anything this month so this was a big win for me things that are currently working in my life stand on top of my classes okay 
your girl struggled last semester your girl really struggled and like got lost her scholarship got her scholarship back so staying on top of my classes and still having a's four weeks in because last semester wasn't it yeah that's working that's working um things that are not working in my life my lack of discipline that is ruining a lot of things for me um what i learned this month was that um i have no discipline i also lack motivation um uh, my mental health physically actively um prevents me from i don't know i don't know what the word is but my mental health is the reason why i cannot accomplish some things when i want to accomplish them yeah i'll say that so what improvements or adjustments do i need to make going into the next month again i want to be mindful for the things that i do and what i spend my money on and to push through and be consistent um even if i don't do one thing just be like okay that's fine i didn't do that thing but let me continue on to the next thing that i need to do just push through the next thing is what am i grateful for i'm grateful for having a job a car a place to lay my head food money for gas in these high ass times i'm grateful for just being here because i know a lot of people don't even have the little things that i have so i'm grateful for everything that i have um habits i want to continue to nurture next month continue to read every day i try to read at least 30 minutes a day um a lot of times i read more like this book this book i was i was pushing through this book i was reading like like this much like I was pushing through so if i like the book i read more but at least read 30 minutes every day continue to be consistent with moving my body your girl is trying to drop like 30 pounds so the only way to do that is through healthy habits moving my body what i eat so be very like consistent with that continue to practice spanish because i really really want to learn spanish um i don't i'm not trying to be like i want to be fluent but you know at this point i just want to be able to recognize words and be able to know what the fuck they mean when somebody's speaking to me okay um and then i really want to uh focus and nurture self-care it's very very important um and then focusing on next month money saving my fucking money not swipe your fucking card jessica put that bitch down um personal development and health those are the things i want to focus on in the month of february so now moving on to february this is my february budget like i said before nothing's changed but the rent um my cell phone and my coffee budget those three things have changed everything else has stayed the same um moving on to the same thing i had last month about um my uh savings at the top my debt at the bottom while where i'm starting off with each of these so where i'm starting off with my savings and where i'm starting off in debt and then the minimum payment um my goal and then the ending balance for february february 28th the last day of february um so i can stay accountable for that because i really want to work on these goals and then my goal tracker so i have my goals that i have here which is again saving money reading two more books um again back to the spanish the hobby moving my body um trying two new meals self-care and then the healthy morning and night routines my goals for the entire month uh the entire first quarter are they're gonna be the same because they're broken down to meet their first quarter goals because the first quarter goals are like save a big total amount read this amount of books and then i broke it down per uh, month so i can hit those big goals so uh, that's why they're the same um in february i will be trying to compensate like so I, my goal last month for saving money i didn't hit so i'm really gonna focus on like going over so like for example say my goal in february was to say my goal in january say for example was to save 50 dollars. i didn't hit that 50 dollar goal so in February, my goal is to save $50 and I'm going to do my best to not only hit the $50, but save an additional $50 so that I can catch up from January because I want a set amount saved by the end of March. You get what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Um, and then the books. So 
why I started reading this in January, I'm putting it with February because I'm going to end up reading it in February. Um, but yes. So that is my goal tracker. And then I also have a blank notes, pa notes page for February that I have filled out. Um, my blanks, um, February monthly reflection. And then it goes into March. But yeah, um, that is all I have. Like I said, I will put screenshots of, of things on the screen so you can take a better look at it. But that is all I have for this reflection monthly reset video. So if you're interested in this video, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. If you have any video ideas or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more of my crusty, dusty ass face, then let me know by hitting that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I upload future videos. But until next time, bye. Ooh. Ooh.